Hey Earth Signs, welcome Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo to your reading who's coming towards you. This is going to be a tarot reading for all you Earth Signs, seeing who's coming towards you, who you're going to meet, who this person is and what we can learn about them. So if you're single and searching, you're waiting for a new love, you want someone new, we're going to be looking at that for you today. So before I jump into this reading though, please subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, uh, drop a like on this video if you like. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, let's have a look and see that signs. Who is coming towards you? This is a timeless reading, so if you watch this, this could absolutely be, um, be applicable here to you. Okay, I feel like you're in current communication with this person. So I feel like it's someone that may be somewhat familiar. Um... Okay, there's definitely an offer from this person coming in very soon. There's an invitation that's going to be extended uh, to you. Uh, from this person. Okay, it's, it's this person, this connection is connected to a wish. So I feel like whatever you've sort of wished for, what, you know, how you wanted this person to look or how you wanted them to come across, there's a wish attached to this person. I feel like it's your crush, okay? I feel like it's someone you are in contact with quite frequently or you know of them. And the Nine of Cups tells me you've wished for this. Okay, it could be an Aries with the Magician. Okay, Ace of Wands, new attraction for some of you. It is someone new. Um... But I feel like you've been you've been in touch with this person somehow. Okay, three of swords. Okay, Taurus has come up. Okay, lots of earth energy. Could be a Taurus here. Aries, Taurus. Okay, three threes. Very interesting. Okay, this person, you, it's like you've got an unspoken crush towards each other. There's an unspoken attraction that you both have towards each other, but you haven't been able to act on it for some reason. There's something that stands in your way. It could be another person. It could be the fact that you're in a relationship. They're in a relationship. There's something that's happening here that's preventing the both of you from being together. Now, it could be like if you work together, it's frowned upon or it's a conflict of interest if you have like a work romance or, you know, there might be, it could be like a sibling's ex. Like there's something here. It's like the big elephant in the room. There's something here that's preventing the two of you to be together, but you both have your eye on each other. I'm, I'm sensing a mutual attraction here um, with the magician and the three of swords. There can be an opportunity to sort of, um, sort of do things behind someone's back. Of course, I wouldn't advise that because it can um, integrate negative energy into the foundation of this connection. But look, that is a possibility. Look, it might not be that. The Three of Swords, the Magician, can be the fact that this person in their most recent relationship was cheated on and was hurt really badly. So they could be very, very loyal. Um, we've got the Leo here. And Leo is a symbol of, um, this line here is a symbol of loyalty and respect. And also the Hierophant here. So more and more, I'm starting to think that this person was the recipient. So it sort of happened to them. And trust is a really, really big factor for this person is what I'm getting. But they are wishing for you and you're wishing for them. I feel like you've had recent contact. You've got a very strong attraction next to this person. And I think for some of you, three of cups, I'm getting a friend friendship vibe. You might be friends with this person, friends of friends. Um, or it could also be someone uh, like a friend that introduces you or connects you. So I think it's throughout like a social circle or a friendship circle. That's going to be the way in which you are led to this person. We've got the Hierophant here, can point to marriage, wisdom, this person being quite a traditionalist, so they do want marriage and they do want love. They might have even come from a marriage or still be ending a marriage, you know, and 
there is a possibility for things to get a little bit messy here at Science. So you might not necessarily be ready. It could be more for the Torians watching, but I feel like, you know, the fact that, what was it, the Seven of Swords has come up as well. Yeah, okay, the Seven of Swords, that's the betrayal. You have to be careful. Um, seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. Okay, I get that. It might be something you have to keep hush-hush. You know, there might be secretive behavior between you and them um, in getting this relationship going. It's like there's a secrecy. So I feel like, I don't know, I see you tiptoeing maybe around the bus, maybe around another colleague. You might not want people knowing, but I feel like also been like a bit of a cat and mouse connection like you've sort of been tiptoeing around this person for quite some time and i feel like they're coming towards you because it's a uh, it's a likely possibility that a relationship could flourish between the both of you i am sensing quite a bit of compatibility and i get that you've had a strong friendship or like universe wants you to know that it's better to build a friendship with this person first before jumping into things and getting romantic with them that is what i'm seeing so Okay, I feel like this person has darker features. It's either like they're tall, dark, and handsome, or they're a sultry brunette. There's something dark. Could even be like a little bit exotic about this person. Um, I feel like they could be around your height, maybe a little bit taller. Uh, and there is a love for animals here with this person. Um, they they do like to be quite active. I get that they're also like a heavy presence in the public eye, or they have a presence in the community or in the public eye. So they might have a lot of followers on Twitter or on YouTube, uh, they might be in the paper, they might be on the internet, like they could even be a minor or a major celebrity. They've got an element of fame about them. Um, I'm getting like a freelancing or a very independent person, could even be their own business owner. Um, I feel like they, they manage problems quite well, so I get that they could even be like a manager of some kind or a mediator of some kind. For a lot of you, it could be someone who's in a corporate uh, realm as well. And they're quite high up. They're well respected for what they do. So, you know, I feel like they've got an education behind them here. But I also feel a part of them is like self-made. So a lot of ambition next to this person. And um, they're coming up as the magician. So this is like, could be like the player or the, um, you know, that player kind of energy. It's a lot of people want them. They're attractive. They know they've got a lot going for themselves and they know they can hook people in. So they're aware of that. I definitely feel like they're going to dazzle you uh, and you're just going to be seeing stars next to this person. Like, you're going to be so attracted to them. Uh, okay. As the higher of it, I feel like it's an older kind of energy. So I feel like there could be a bit of an age gap between you and them. But I feel like they've got a young soul. So they could be quite playful, quite energetic. They like to joke around. Um, you know, they could put in their foot in their mouth sometimes. Like they're a bit, um, what's the word? They're a bit like uh, outspoken. Outspoken or um, a little bit blunt at times. Um is what I'm getting. They could be the, a little bit edgy here as well. You can see the dark makeup, uh, the dark goddess here. So they could be into like rock and roll, goth, punk, this type of subculture maybe. Um, I'm getting a Scorpio actually that's coming up. Cancer here as well maybe, but... Um, these flowers from the wand, it's like the rose that grew from the thorn, uh, the rose and the thorn, you know, the rose. So it makes me feel like this is someone who, it's just not what you would expect from this person. And they're really going to surprise you. Um, but I think you'll get on. I think friendship here first is vital, but I think an invitation from this person is coming absolutely. And... I think you're going to take it from there. I don't see this connection sort of being rushed. I feel like you might take your time or it be it would be good to take your time. I see you hanging out with groups, kind of like double dating in groups. So there's a lot of that happening around you and them. But I think you're going to take it from there. Nine of Cups, they could make you very happy, you know, provided they were available. We have to make sure this person is emotionally available because if their attention is on another person, there is a crowd, it gets messy. But look, you know, they could make you really happy. This is the wish card. 
everything falling into place with this person. They have a lot of what you're looking for, like a certain looks, certain demeanor, certain interests. Yeah, they've got, they've got something here. They've got something here that's definitely going to have you hooked and have, have you very, very interested. They're an animal lover, they're a pet person, maybe more cats than dogs. Um, they could have siblings, they could be one of three children. Uh, and they're also undergoing something quite important in their life when you meet. They've got the number three hovering around them, so it could be like the start of something, reaching a certain milestone, or a recent loss or ending because of that trine number. So it makes me feel like there is there's some big things happening around this person when you sort of connect with them and they'll open up to you about it. You'll definitely know they're not going to keep you in the dark about these things. I feel like they're quite open. Um, I do, but I feel like they definitely have a mischievous side. So, you know, they don't always tell the truth. Okay. They have the gift of the gab. I wouldn't be surprised if they work in sales. They know how to sort of manipulate people is what I want to say. I'm not going to lie. They do have a very strategic mind and it's something that, helps them read people, judge situations. They're very sharp. They're very quick-witted. So, you know, could be quite sarcastic, very little jabs, like the remarks that they make, I think, link back to this outspoken personality. Um, but they're going to make you laugh. They will. They'll make you laugh. They'll keep you entertained. You're going to be super amused by this person. I do see that. But, um, you know, they do, they can be, this, uh, they can be dishonest, so they do have traces of this showing up. Especially if you're starting off the relationship not on the best foot, you're going to see glimpses of that um, as the connection progresses. Um, so again, it's a, it would be advisable to start things on an honest and equal playing field. Okay, they may have a child for some of you. Um, I think it's only one though. It could also be that uh, an unplanned pregnancy may happen from this connection. Could be planned, could be unplanned, um, but it may happen here. Okay, it can be quite emotional at times. Mm. Got these phases of the moon. Could be that they have different moods, okay? Almost feels like not different personalities. I mean, maybe for some of you, hopefully not. But I feel like, yeah, there's definitely phases. Phasing out, I'm getting the word phasing out. I don't know if that's going to make sense. Maybe when you meet, they'll say they're phasing out of a relationship. They're phasing out of something big in their life. Um, could also be the fact that you might treat this as just a phase, like... You might not want to go the distance with this person. You might just see it as a bit of a fling, a bit of a, a phase uh, that you have to grow out of. You know what I think of as I'm doing this reading? I think of like you always have pictured yourself trying a certain person or being with a certain person and you never sort of really got around to it and now they're popping up and you're like, okay, I'm going to check, I'm going to take this chance. That's what's coming up. So, yeah, I, I'm getting a sense that you've always been intrigued by this kind of personality or this kind of person. And now that that opportunity will pop up for you, you're going to jump on it because you're going to take it. But it's almost like it's been a thought of yours for quite some time and it's actually like the universe delivering the thoughts that you've had. It's like these thoughts have now manifested into the form of this person, this individual, and they're going to come forward and you'll take it from there. But they don't like to follow the rules. They like to be their own sort of, they're a bit of a trendsetter. You know, they're a bit of a, a lone wolf. You know, they're not, they're not, they're not, um, they're not always conformists, so it makes me think that they do things in their own way. 
Like it's an entrepreneurial mind. It's an independent mind. There's a lot of independence next to this person. They like to be independent. They want love. Um, so I feel like they've accomplished like the career aspect of their lives. Like they've got that sort of down pat and they've really established themselves there. But now it's like they want more and what they want is love because the hierophant, this desire that sits right in the middle, the hierophant is telling me they want whatever's missing and I feel like it's it's romance, it's Venus energy. Um, so this person can be very romantic or it's you that's going to bring out a highly romantic side uh, when you're dating and as you're connecting. But I feel like, yeah, they, they're at a point in their life where they feel something's missing or they want more. Like if they're phasing out of a divorce or a breakup um, or it's like a tail end of a relationship, you know, things things maybe haven't been going too well for them, hence why they'd be open to starting something new with you. I feel like it could be towards the tail end of a different relationship. And then they're finding that that spark is missing and you're just going to find it together. Like it'll just click and you'll take it from there. So, I mean, it, it really could be a fun experience with this person. Yeah, it could be really, really fun um, to be together. But I'm just worried that that third party, I don't know if there's a friend that used to have a crush on this person maybe, and they might be a bit devastated to know that you guys are hooking up or you're doing something here. A friend is somehow affected or somehow involved in the two of you meeting, and it could be another person that's sort of in between the both of you, preventing this from happening. Okay, that could be quite spiritual here as well. Um, they're quite a buzzed or an active energy. So, high energy kind of person coming in. But they're playful. They're playful, they're humorous. They get on with people quite well from all different walks of life. Um, and like I said, they're a bit of a rule breaker. That's the vibe I'm getting from them. I think, I think you'll be able to tame them though. There's balance here because they're sort of like the, the cheeky one, but you're sort of more the, the wiser, you know, more stable, um, energy. But to be honest, I think it could work. I think it, ta it's going to take you to sort of tame them and to make them more, um, you know, a bit more structured than they are. Cause right now I think they're very spontaneous and everything's everywhere and that's always nice. Yes. But, um, I feel like they need you. They need your energy to sort of help them um, be a bit more tame is what I'm getting. I'm going to leave it there, everyone, though. Thank you again so, so much for watching. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.